Hey there, thank you so much for joining me today at the Natural Lifestyle Show. Um, today I want to talk about um, loving yourself, loving your body. I believe that leading a healthy natural lifestyle includes good emotional and mental health. And I think it's really important to love and appreciate your body. Because I think if you, if anybody lives like um, with discontentment or shame or unhappiness or anything like that about their physical appearance, then it's going to have a negative effect on them. Um, negativity can hamper your immunity um, and it affects every area of your life. And so it's really important to accept and love your body the way it is, no matter how it is right now. I mean, even if you want to change it, um, by getting fit or whatever, which is really the only way that is an acceptable way I think to change your body is by getting fit. Um, because I always look at it like this. Um, if you're negative or critical about your body, I always think, well, whose work are you criticizing? Because our bodies are a gift from God. And if we're critical of our bodies, which is our vehicle to actually you know, travel around this earth and do the things that we want to do and that God has put us here to do. If we're critical of that, then that's not a good thing because, I mean, this is a blessing, a gift that we've been given. And, you know, we really just shouldn't put it down. Um, and I know that a lot of people, you know, feel bad about their bodies because, you know, other people have maybe said things to them to make them to cause them to feel, um, you know, critical or aware of some so-called faults or whatever or flaws. But, you know, our faults and our flaws and our bodies, if that's what you even want to call them, uh, which I don't even think so, is they, they're what make us unique. I mean, we're not cookie cutter um, creations. We're all different. And it's really beautiful that we're all different, you know. Um, we are so much more than just our physical appearance, but that that does distinguish us, you know, physically from other people, and it, you know, it it um, it's unique. And so, I just wanted to put that out there. Um, and a few ways that you can do this is um, whenever I'm having an issue or something, I always go and look in the Bible about different things. So if I was having an issue about disliking something about my body, I would look up about how, you know, God created me and how I'm special to Him and then, um, you know, things like that. And also, um, another thing that I think is really good is if there's a part of your body that you're having, you know, trouble with mentally, um, look in the mirror and say, like, um, part of the body. I love you. Um, I'm grateful to have this part of the body that functions in whichever way it functions. And, you know, learn to love and appreciate it because I think there's value in speaking things out loud um, and thanking God. Say, like, thank you, God, for this body part that does this for me. Because, I mean, think about it. What would you be without that body part that does that? I mean, how much can you really dislike it? It's Like I said, it's a real gift. And so when you really, really, really start looking at it like that, then it really changes your whole outlook. And anybody who's going to be critical of you, I mean, you really have to sit and wonder about it anyway, because who among us has a perfect body? I mean, there is no person with a 100% perfect body. Um, and maybe in the beginning of time, when people were first on the earth, I'm sure they looked perfect. But as generations went, you know, on and on, our genes, you know, are, have, you know, gotten to where we're just not perfect anymore. We have um, flaws and a lot of problems. And, um, but who is to say what we're supposed to look like anyway? It's like people pick out one thing and they're like, well, this is what beauty is, and so if you don't look like this. But anybody that has different taste or whatever, or sees things a different way, could just as easily say, well, no, this is what beauty looks like, and then everybody would think that that's what they need to look like. So, just love your body. Love your body. Thank God for your body. 
um, let that just you know set you free if you're having an issue with this just you know, find the freedom of accepting and loving yourself because then you can move on to other areas of your life and then you can realize too that you are worthy to lead a more natural healthy lifestyle and um, and to become healthy so that you can do even more with this beautiful gift that God has given you and um, hopefully help other people to realize that they are fine too and that they should love themselves and accept themselves and um, focus on other areas of life that really would you know benefit from our focus more than that so I just want to put this out there and um, I hope that y'all have a great day and please leave a comment below and let me know how you like this video and give me a thumbs up a like and a share and we're enjoying making these videos every day and um, I would like to hear uh, anything you have to say about this topic um, down below as well Thank you so much for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.